Hello again, horror fans. <laughs> Today's little indie horror number is Remothered Tortured Fathers. And we're going to be doing the same again. I'm going to show you the 100% full game walkthrough, showing you how to complete the game, uh, grabbing all the other trophies, missables, and all the 19 collectibles. A couple of pointers before we begin. Uh, press touchpad to see your objectives list. Press triangle to see your inventory, whereas you want to at all times be carrying a defensive item, knife or whatever, and three uh, diversions. And I recommend the throwable diversions. The, the, the placeable ones like the rope is pretty useless. So yeah, uh, settings I'm going to turn my... Uh, la la. I recommend you turn your field of view up to 90, that's the max you can get. And I'm putting my brightness on 70 just to make it a little easier for you to see what I'm doing. There we go. Let's crack on then. Oh. No. Yeah. <laughs> New game. I'm, I'm going to be skipping all cutscenes as well, so feel free to watch the cutscenes on your own time. I will also be running a lot of the time using R1. It's a pretty good little game though. I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. Okay, when you get control, run straight ahead, straight down to the bottom of the alley. Near the end, on the left, you'll see this big poster, Sears, Scares, <laughs> whatever it says, collectible number one. Back the way you came. Take the right hand turn and on the corner you'll see collectible number two, the missing poster. Okay, keep going down that alley and go to the gate on the right. We need to enter through the back so just go around the left hand side. Okay, through the double doors you see there. Just follow this lady this way. until you get to Felton's office upstairs. Bad habit. Smoking? Yes, it's such a shame. You should quit. You have no idea how bad this is for you. Not only for your health, but it's also very expensive. Money and time wasted. I have so much to do every day. I couldn't waste time with such a bad habit. Do you assist Mr. Felton all day? Oh no, from midday to 8 p.m. Then I go back home. I live near here. If needed, he can contact me with a pager, but that's not often. His wife takes care of him when I'm off. What can you tell me about her? I met her just a couple of times. She's usually out or locked in her bedroom when I'm here. They, they don't seem to get along. I didn't know. But, you know, when she's home, she listens to the same music, the same song, over and over.
in this office you have two collectibles, one straight ahead of you, this painting. Interact with that. In the desk, you have to get this collectible anyway to progress. But yeah, in the drawer of the desk. Okay, as soon as you've re-entered the man mansion, turn to your right and next collectible is in this drawer right by the front door. You have to get this now. So grab that. Going to grab a few of the diversions and weapons, so pick up this diversion from the other desk. Turn around, go on your first right, pick up that knife, go in this cabinet, get another diversion, and the third one will be opposite this chessboard. They're scattered all around the house on your playthrough. Whenever you use one, just try and pick up the nearest. So try and always be fully stocked with three. Where is it? There it is. So like I said, uh, press triangle for your inventory. Maybe the R1, you can see now I'm all full. There we go. So let's get on with it. So now, run straight upstairs to follow the music. On the first floor, turn to your right. Go down to the end and follow it round. Go to this oh, <laughs> door on the right, which it does automatically, apparently. I must hide. Okay, I've heard the door shut, so I'm going to carry on. Yeah, you're going to be constantly stalked in this game. Anyway, from this bedroom, there's a collectible on this wall right in front of you. Grab that. Now we need to pick up a key item from the ensuite bathroom of this room. So this door. Yes, yes, open the door. Go to the coat. These jigsaw pieces, you always need these key items whenever you find them. You can view how many you have and what you have again by pressing triangle. So this here tells you exactly what I need it for, ground floor corridor key. Also, when you see these uh, icons, always interact with them and uh, they will now be added to your touchpad list, the objectives list. So, let's carry on. First, make a save. There's only a few mirrors around the house. I do recommend whenever you pass them to make a save. 
and heal if you've been hit. You will probably be killed a few times. So it's always best to save as regularly as possible. Sneak with pressing the left thumbstick down, L3. So it's best to sneak until you know where your enemy is. And then if they're behind you, you could be free to run to the next hide spot. <gasps> Shite. <laughs> like that. So. When he's gone, we're going to go for the first of the three missable... Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> Use your right thumbstick to survive these little circle bits. Put the damn pills. Right. As I've run to this hide spot, I might as well use one of the upgrades for your weapon, because it's right here. There's only three upgrades around the house. So you might as well grab them. There's nothing left to eat. It's all molded. Oh no, where is he? <gasps> where is he? You better not be down here again. Right, first missable, run to the front door. Oops, wrong button. As soon as you get near it, you'll see the objective completed and then your trophy will unlock. There you are. Now continue to progress. To use the key we had from upstairs, go straight to the other end of the corridor. And this key will open the double doors at the end. So, you like to go around and rummage in other people's things. Here. When you uh, get there to use your items, you need to go in with triangle and use it from there. Go into your inventory to pull it out. <laughs> to use it. Right, run round to the left. So we're going straight to the kitchen. And here is this collectible on the fridge. Grab that. We need this plunger from the table. Key item. And we need this sneaky key item from up on this shelf. Just near that plunger. So click on that. Oh shit, he's just there. Hang on, let's hide first. Oh my god, how did he not see me? That was so close. <laughs> Holy moly. Right, let's carry on then. <laughs> that was lucky. Right, interact with this chair now. There, another key item gained. I'm going to take the rope off this door so we can use it to loop round later. If we're being chased, it'll make it much easier to go around in little circles to lose them. So press um, square to take this rope off. So we can now use this door. But then get rid of the rope because it's rubbish. Swap back, swap back sorry, for your other diversion item. Right.
Better do some sneaking because he's near. We've now just found the handle for this stove, so in your inventory use it. Mash L1 and R1 together to get rid of moths. Grab your next key item. Okay, picked up the film for the projector. Where's my buddy? Next we need to go to the dining room. There's another key item that will fall from the chandelier. Is he round here? No, let's go for it. So this next room from the kitchen is the dining room. So in this dining room there's two collectibles and a key item. I'm going to keep sneaking for now. First interact with this big painting at the back of the room. That is the collectible. Now interacting with this collectible will make the chandelier fall drop something that we need to pick up but it will also make a lot of noise so I'm going to run to um, run to a save the second save point after this so pick up this collectible from the corner of the table turn around there you go pick up this from the chandelier Now I'll go through the left hand door and I'm going to try and sneak to the safe spot. Oh shit. Oh, just, just missed me. <laughs> That's why we sneak. If you're sneaking they can't hear you at all but as they're stalkers if you're even just walking or running they will come straight to wherever they hear that sound. Here is the mirror we need. Okay, so what do we have? Plunger, fill, metal cable. So we need to go next upstairs to use the plunger back in the bedroom where there was something in the bath. <gasps> that was close. <laughs> Too close. Oh, damn it. I was looking with the thumbstick, so that screwed that up. I'm just going to leg it now. Oh, he's glitched anyway. Yay. <laughs> I'm going to run all the way to the bedroom. If they're behind you, it's actually for the best. I should make it all the way to my destination much faster. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Worked in my favour, really, then. He is the only enemy in this section of the game. <coughs> okay, so we've just entered the bedroom we were in before, going that left hand ensuite bathroom and use the plunger in the bath. Triangle again to access it. So, this item it wants us to find is in the basement. I know you're here. Oh shit! <laughs> Scared me. This Get around him. All right, we'll make it. So the basement, unsurprisingly, all the way at the bottom oh, of the stairs. Bitch. 
there'll be a hide spot right at the bottom basement floor as well. So I'm going to go straight to that. Yeah, it's still coming. This is my house. You cannot do. Seems like we have some company. The right thumbstick for these. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Nearly failed. Right, he is cleared off. We can continue. Press crouch straight away before you even take a step or they'll hear you again. Right, it's great. It's what we need. Okay, and to open the grate we need the metal cable that we've already obtained, use it with the vent. While we're here, interact with this little ladder and it'll add it to the objectives list. Right. To turn the power on for that vent, we need to go back upstairs near that bedroom mirror. Oh, take this rope off again. Let me swap it. There we are. <laughs> Didn't want the rope. Okay, back upstairs we go. I'm going to take a chance. See. Right, round to the right. <clears throat> Excuse me, should know the way to the bedroom by now. I could run, but to make my life easier and so I can do another save, I'm going to sneak, keep him off my tail. what we need just there. Do a safe first so while we're here. I think I got a hit so yeah hold L2 to heal whenever you're at the mirrors. Okay. Also do a save. Interact with this. Shall I run? Yeah. <laughs> so now we need to turn on the power, which is right by the front door of the mansion downstairs. Go 
can't see him. Let's go for it. Turn the torch on, sorry. Where is he? Uh... <laughs> God. They, they, they do react to your torch though. <clears throat> so, sorry if I keep my torch off for a lot of the time. Hopefully you can still see what's happening. Right, anyway, the power we need to turn on, you can just see it ahead of us now, the flashing red light. I'll run from here. Interact with that. It's still not there, so I'm going to go for a run for it for the basement. Okay, pick that up out of the grate. We now have the pendulum clock key. I'm just going to hide in this cupboard a minute because we've been doing a lot of running. He'll probably show up. Well, it doesn't look like he's coming, so let's go for it. Crouch again. That's good, he's gone off to the left. Good. The way I don't want to go. Right, we're going off to the right. Once we've been to the clock, next we'll be going back upstairs to fix a projector. I think I'm going to run. I probably shouldn't have run actually. My life would have been much easier if I didn't. Anyway. Okay, use your pendulum clock key. Oh! <laughs> oh made me jump. There's a few little QTEs in this game, but you should get them all fine. I'm just going to make a little save while I'm around this end. Mirror at the end of the corridor. Okay, he sounds close. Just going to nip, nip under this sofa for a minute. I really should have just snuck to, to, all the way to that grandfather clock. Oh, I'm going for it. Ah! <laughs> ah! Oh no! <laughs> Shy. <laughs> well, I, we're having a run to uh, upstairs. Go! <laughs> okay, the projector is in Felton's office, which is the next room along near the bedroom. So around to the right, and then take your first right. There you go. It's this door with the two statues. So first on the projector is your next collectible, 
This one's slightly different. You need to read this one by pressing L2 instead of X this time. There's that one. Now get in your inventory. Use your two items here. <coughs> Move the view up a little bit. Oh, wrong button. And use your film as well. I'll pull the uh, projector screen thing down. Now we can play it. Do some L1, R1 button mashing again. You're going to see one scary lady in a minute. Don't like her. Come on. Yeah. Run towards the door we came in through. Now we need to dodge, loop around her, and we're going to run to the opposite far end. Take a couple of hits, so we're okay. Two or three hits. So, right to left. We're all the way down to the opposite end of this corridor. We should hopefully make it to this couch thing. Oof. Just, I think. Ooh, she nearly saw us. <laughs> okay, let's go. Now we just need to trigger some cutscenes for progression. I still have all items on me possible. Yep, a defense and three. Oh, rope! I need to drop that at some point. Drop it now. There, swap that. That's better. <laughs> okay, we can run now because for some reason, for a moment, there's no enemies. That doesn't last though. Right, go and get a heal and a save at this point. Okay, good as new. Just go trigger little Celeste now. Because there's a couple more collectibles we can't get until we see her going to the attic. Wait, wait. Okay, see the one time now. Follow her again. Jennifer. Okay, now that that's triggered, two more collectibles have become available to us. So turn back around and go back in that uh, Felton's office we were just in. Pull it all the way around. Your collectible is this big painting of the Red Nun behind the desk. Make sure you've got the right painting and that you see on screen it say there like that, new collectible unlocked. Okay, now we're running back to the bedroom. So out this office and around to the right. Uh -oh. 
And that's where our new collectible is, where the corpse used to be. <laughs> Inspect that. Towards the gramophone. Okay, walking towards the gramophone has uh, triggered this umbrella to drop a key item we need. So pick that up in the corner of the room. This umbrella will um, get us into the loft where you saw the little girl go up. Don't know where the bloke is. I think I'll do another quick save actually while I'm here. Shall I run or not? <laughs> the red nun does normally see me around here. So I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> Ooh. I think I'm okay. You can see the handle hanging down from the loft. Cool, made it. Here's your umbrella. interact with the ladder. There's one um, automatic collectible in this loft. You have to grab it to progress the story. Okay, so just run straight to the end where you see the uh, table. Right to the left, I mean. The table with the candles. Next collectible. Now we have a nice little chase. All you have to do is run towards the hatch that we came in from. She'll be in the middle of these mannequins. Right. Hi! Um. <laughs> Okay, from this little room, we need to acquire the batteries from the TV remote when Sweet Celeste puts it down. But first we're going to do a quick little save through this door and a heal. Because we're right at the mirror. So, the usual, L2 and then X to save after. Okay, so now we're going to grab these uh, batteries from the remote and then we're going to run straight to the basement to use it for the ladder. Go on, put your remote down. Oh god. I've got it. Now run! <laughs> Ah, I'm running the wrong way. Okay. <laughs> What's happened here? 
<laughs> anyway, we're still going to the basement. <laughs> Poor little Celeste got confused. If anyone's chasing me, no, I'll carry on then. Someone is coming, I can hear them. Oh God, she's there. Okay. You can hide from me, but not from her God. She's gone to sneak from now. <laughs> I am the ambassador of the new lord. That was a bit close. Right. We've got the batteries from the remote to make this ladder work. Up this ladder we will get the oil can and the next place we need to go is oh go on go up the ladder <laughs> so once we've got this can we need to go upstairs through a secret fireplace corridor which is to the first floor and turn left And I might sneak there to make my life easier. Hear footsteps. You deceived us all. Oh yes, perfect. She's going the other way. How lucky. I'm still not gonna run because I want enough time to be able to open the fireplace secret corridor. I think this is far enough to run, far enough away. Okay, so yeah, round to the left here. And interact with this fireplace. dark in here so get my torch on for ya. We're safe in this corridor. They don't come in here for some reason. So next to this statue on the left hand side in the drawer is the next collectible. Grab that. Might as well make another save. And check if you need to heal. Just do it whenever you can. Better to be safe than sorry. <laughs> right, see this cart here? Need to interact with it first and then we'll need the oil can on it.
Okay, now that we've pushed the cart out of the way, oh, interact with the um, wall first. Now we need to push this statue over to make a hole in the wall. Okay, in this room, right at the doorway, you see here on the left is an infinite supply of uh, throwable diversions. Before, before you interact with the drawer, you need to smash all the mirrors in this room for a mi missable trophy. So get a load of bricks, here we are. Aim with L2, throw with R2. This one, this one up high, grab some more bricks, I'll check in the bathroom but I don't think there is any in here. You'll know you've smashed all the uh, mirrors when the moths come at you. So there's one more down here on the floor. One on the desk. One up high. Missed. Oh. More bricks. Last one. There we are. Being attacked, then moths, like I said, knows your trophy would have popped then. So, I've only got one brick, so make sure you're fully stocked before you continue. So, I need to grab two more bricks. We've got three now. Yeah. Now, to continue with the story. Go in this left hand drawer. Okay, you can put that straight down. You need to exit through this closet when the icon shows up. There. Okay, so just as a heads up, there's now only one missable um, trophy left for the uh, collectibles, and you should already by now be on, let's see how many. 14 out of 19, so you're nearly done with them. All the rest of the trophies in this game are story related that you'll just naturally get. So once you've entered the sewers here, turn around 180, and your next collectible will be down this other end on the right hand side. There it is. Okay. Oh, I'll turn back around and I'll just follow the path and just survive these few little QTEs in this tunnel. There's only one way you can go, it's just a couple of left hand turns. <laughs> Miss me. Round to the left. Leave me alone. <laughs> to the left again.
there's a ladder at the other end. Okay, when you enter the wine cellar you're given this automatic uh, collectible. In this wine cellar you need to get oh, skip that. In this wine cellar you need to get um, one more collectible which is any poster that you see on the walls. This section you have to turn three valves. It's going to be quite hard for me to explain where they are. Uh, one is near the exit that you need the valves for with the, the um, hot steam and two are where there's a fork in the path and there's one either side of the fork. So hopefully you'll find them all right when it's your turn. First I'm going to lure Celeste to chase us this way around just so I know where she is. Come on. There she is. Right, so now we're back at the starting point, going to go the other way around. If she's far enough away, at the end of this long corridor, you can just grab, uh, you can just about see it now, collectible on the wall here, probably the easiest one for you to grab. Okay, there's that one. Now I'm going to keep running to the exit valve. I just wiggle around a bit and you should quite easily find this area. See there's this po oh it's also a poster there. That's where we will be exiting. So turn this valve number one. Now I'm going to sneak to try and get to the other two. So here's the fork, so it's right near the exit. You see those? You can go left or right here. Where is she? Here's our second valve. Where is she? Right, turn back around and... Oh my gosh! would be right there. <laughs> Does that mean she's gone the other way? Oh, Jesus! <laughs> right, good. Back to this fork here, so we're just going the other side of it now. I'm not going to run because this is actually a dead end room so I can't run the opposite way away from her. But this is your third valve. If she comes into this room when you're doing your playthrough you can't walk over this middle bit but so just loop around the edge to get around her. Right back to the exit. She's not there, I can make it. Run! <laughs> Straight over. There you go. Straight through the door. Was that you? Ah. <laughs> oh, the path. Sharp right hand turn. And quickly push this bookcase so she can't get in. You have to be quick in this bit or she'll uh, insta-kill you with a nail gun. So quickly run to the other door, move that bookshelf. Now go back to this door, press sneak. When you see the key drop, we need to pick it up and then straight away run use it in the door. There's the key. Pick it up. Now quick, or she will get you. Triangle. 
Piece of cake. Go, go. Made it. <laughs> okay, we are back in the basement. What we need to do is use the lift now, the elevator. I think no matter if you creep or not, the red nun's going to see you here. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm nervous. Oh, okay. Perfect. So, yeah, we need to use the lift to trigger a little cut scene, and then we can continue to the infirmary. Right, you have to interact with those buttons and then you have to interact with this gate, otherwise they'll kill you. Continue. So we're back on the ground floor. Like it says in top right, objective, meet Gloria in the infirmary. So just run all the way straight round to the right. And it's just the door to the right of this grandfather clock to auto do it. There you go. Quickly throw it with R2. Okay. In this room we have our last two collectibles. So, grab this one right in your face on the mannequin. This should have been you. And the last one, right behind it on this desk. There you go. That'll pop your trophy. So that's all your missables done now. And just get to the end of the game for your hundred percent. Button mash L one R one. Quick with R2 again, L2 first and R2. Yeah, L2 first and R2 that one. Right, I think I'm short of some throwballs. Oh, it's not letting me. Just walk towards these doors and it'll yeah, take you into the next section. Okay, this bit you have to be quite quick. Quickly interact with these three items on the table. Move your camera to look behind you and straight away from now, because it's a bit funny this bit, start button mashing L1 and R1. Doing it really early was the only way I could manage to not die. <laughs> Bye, bitch. OK. 
Okay, I need to pick up a weapon and a brick. I'm sure there'll be one in here. Let's have a little look round. Well, any old diversion really. I didn't mean brick. I want a weapon. Let's just do a save while we're here. There's, there'll be a knife in the kitchen for sure. We'll just nip there first before we continue. Do we? Heal? No? Save then. Like I said, I'm just going to grab... Oh, there's a knife. Right, you've got the big finale coming up, so I highly recommend that we use one of... You want to go in with one of your weapons upgraded. So I'm just going to go to the one that's nearest, which is uh, that TV room by this mirror. So it'll give yourself a huge advantage have a better weapon so this upgrade will do any of them will be fine but without it upgraded you will probably die a bunch okay so now we have the elevator crank and the syringe to mess with Gloria with So make your way to the elevator now, now that you're all prepared, you've got your fully stocked diversions and an upgraded defence item. We are good to go. That'll be where we use the crank in a moment on the wall. Really you to you, be ready for it. Not this time. Take that. Not if I kill you first, Gloria. Let me use a crank now. Okay. Big finale coming up. Okay, we have reached the final section. Can be a little bit tricky, but I'll show you my surefire techniques for success. So first, just follow the path around. Mm -mm. <laughs> just follow it around to the right, the left, left again. Okay, run straight to this crank and start using it all the way around the right hand side. Was a wise one. I don't think you share that attribute. Oh, keep tapping it. Stab her and then straight away carry on with the crank. 
a tapping X. Ah, oh, come on, quick. <laughs> Go! <laughs> okay. On to the left. <laughs> oh, the ramp, follow it round to the right. Oh, do pick up this knife that's stuck in the wall on your right hand side there. Keep following the path round. Smash your L1R1 whenever there's moths. Crawl through this space. When you get out the other end, you're gonna have, <laughs> you're gonna have to sneak. You're trapped in here. You can't escape. Right. So before you take a step, press crouch with L3. We need to push this cart out the way, so without one of our throwables. I will make you regret your Let's throw it somewhere coward. to get it out of the way. You fucking coward. Oh. And, oh, she's coming. And straight away, if you keep tapping X, it should let you squeeze straight through here, which is right next to where we push the cart. We might as well pick up this other um, Don't you diversion. You Let's creep again. Like You're trapped in here. You can't escape. Um, can't use the brick. We'll do the same here again. Just move her out the way. Are you there? Let's make sure we press sneak again. And we can go through the area she was blocking to where the flashy red light is. In fact, with that. I can't see anything. Okay, back up this ladder on the right hand side. Okay, go to your. Oh. <laughs> L1 R1 first. You need to go to your immediate right from that ladder. So we've just climbed over here. So it's down here you need to go. What's that on the floor? Go to the end, turn left. There's Straight across, up this ladder. And it's another immediate right. Follow that round. Right, and that's the, squ the switch we need. You don't know so, lob something oh. at her and get the switch. And we're finished. We made it. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, guys. Hope that was useful for you. I thought it was a pretty good game. Uh, yeah, if you watch some of the cutscenes when you play it yourself, well, if you like, it's worth it. And I will see you next time.